Hey friends, this is Emily from burlapkitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today we're going to be making a super cute pumpkin from some paper clip cups that I bought at the Dollar Tree. Um, we're using some Spanish moss, wired twine, raffia, a tea light, ribbon, a sachet, paints, and a pouncer. I hope I got that all. So, um, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to start with our paper, our paper clip cups. I'm going to go ahead and cut the tags off and then I am going to just start by painting this both cups orange. So I'm not going to paint the inside of it because you're not really going to see the inside so I'm just mainly going to focus on painting the outside. If you wanted to paint the inside you absolutely could but I don't think it's necessary for this project. I do want to say too a lot of times will get stuck in the little holes. It's not a big deal. You could just go ahead and punch it out with a little um, toothpick or something like that. So I'm just going to keep on painting. I'm using an orange chalk paint, I believe, for this one. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure it's nice and dry before I put on my second coat. You always want to make sure it's dry before adding your second coat or it will clump up. So a lot of people ask me why I use a blow dryer and not a heat gun. I feel like the heat gun's a little too hot for me, so that's just sort of a personal preference. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply my second coat of paint, and I sped this up super fast so you didn't have to sit and um, watch the whole thing. Um, I'm just putting on a second coat of paint, and then I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's nice and dry before moving on. Okay, now that it's dry, I'm going to use this antique wax and I'm going to make my pumpkin look rusty. I really love that look. So the way that I do it is I take a little paint pouncer, I work out of the lid and I dab a little bit on and then dab some off and then I just start um, pouncing all around the pumpkin. Um, everywhere that I want it to look rusty, I'll, I'll go ahead and pounce. Um, There's certain places I like it to look a little darker than others. So just really just sort of play around with it until you get it to look the way that you want it to. I'm going to go ahead and do that on the second paper clip. And I like to focus, um, get it darker on the rim of the paper clip and like the top. Anywhere that you think it would rust most first. Okay, this is almost done. So now I'm going to take my blow dryer and I'm just going to make sure everything is nice and dry before moving on. Okay, now I'm going to take a little stick. I bought these sticks at the Dollar Tree in a little pack, but if you don't have them, just go out in your backyard and find, find something cute. So I'm just going to hot glue that right to the top center of the paperclip cup. And now I'm going to take a little raffia, or not raffia, Spanish moss. I love adding Spanish moss. I don't know why. When I think fall, I always think Spanish moss. So um, I'm going to add some of that to the top around the stem. And now I'm just going to give it a little bit of a trim with my scissors. It looks pretty good to me. So you could just do it like that, how I showed you. That would be cute. But we're going to take it a, a step further and we're going to do something a little bit different with this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a refabbed bow. Um, if you don't know who Brooke is with refab, definitely check out um, her page. She makes a lot of cute crafts. So I'm just going to tie this. I crisscrossed everything and now I'm just going to tie it all in the back with a piece of twine. and tighten it up here to get it to look the way that I want and now I'm just going to trim it up. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take this wired twine. I found this at Hobby Lobby but I've also been told that they have it at the Dollar Tree. So I didn't see it at my Dollar Tree but definitely keep an eye out for that. I'm going to take a pencil here and just wrap it around the pencil to, to curl the twine. Okay, now I'm just going to tie my bow on. I had some extra twine in the back, so rather than cutting it off and gluing my ribbon on, I decided just to tie it 
but you could absolutely glue it if your twine's too short. And I'm just going to pull these little, I think they're called, are they called trindles? I always say it wrong. I don't, I just recently found out that they had a name, so I'm probably saying that wrong. So I just wanted to pull them out, and now I'm going to take these little leaves that I cut off of a pick and I'm just going to hot glue them right into the Spanish moss near the stick. And I like to sit them in and see where I want them before I go ahead and hot glue. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and sit the top half onto the bottom half. And I'm going to use a piece of floral wire to secure this in the back. So I'm just going to cut my floral wire down because I didn't need a piece that big. I'm just going to feed it through the hole in the back, in the bottom one, and then I'm going to feed it through a hole in the back on the top half of the pumpkin. And then I'm just going to twist that wire until it closes the way that I want it to, and it's secure. And Now it's not going to be super secure, but it's going to sit on there without falling off. Okay, I'm just going to trim that up. And now you have a nice little um, pumpkin that opens up. We're going to add some Spanish moss in here and a pumpkin sachet that smells amazing. This is going to make it smell so good every time someone walks by. And then I'm going to add a flickering tea light in the center of it. And that is it, guys. This is a super fun DIY. I think it looks so cute and it smells amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this one just as much as I did. For more great ideas just like this one, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.